At least 49 Palestinians and six Israelis have been killed as hostilities between Israeli and Hamas continues to escalate. Relentless airstrikes and rioting in Israel and Gaza have now fueled growing fears that the violence could spiral into a full-scale war. According to the Israeli army, more than 1,000 rockets have been launched by Hamas targeting cities in Israel, most of which they say fell short and landed within Gaza. The Israeli police are continuing heightened security all across the country. We've seen over the last almost 48 hours more than 900 rockets that have been fired into Israel, into populated areas. We've seen women, children and families taking care in order to go inside those security zones and stay safe. Israel carried out hundreds of airstrikes in Gaza. Israel said that its warplanes targeted and killed several of Hamas's intelligence leaders and that other strikes hit Hamas offices, homes of Hamas leaders and rocket launch sites. People searched through debris in Gaza after an Israeli airstrike destroyed a 12-story building. Hamas said the tower block had been a residential building. AFP reporters say that it housed several Hamas officials. Israeli Defense Forces say that they launched their largest strike across the Gaza Strip since the 2014 conflict. The Israeli army also released a video showing what they report as a strike on the house of a high-ranking Hamas operative, Saleh Damat. They say the house was used to store weapons for Hamas. Israel's Defense Minister Benny Gantz has vowed more attacks on Hamas and other Palestinian groups in Gaza. He added that the strikes would bring in total long-term quiet before any ceasefire. Israel declared a state of emergency in the city of Lod as violence between Israeli forces and Palestinian militants intensified. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu visited Lod and said that Israel must act against those who inflict violence. Meanwhile, the Israeli president, for his part, compared the clashes in Lod to a pogrom. כל מי שפועל כדי לפגוע באזרחי ישראל ובמדינת ישראל צריך לפעול נגדו. מטרים, מציתים מרכוש, מציתים מכוניות, שורפים בתי כנסת, מראות שאנחנו לא יכולים לקבל אותם. שום מדינה מתוקנת, במיוחד לא המדינה שלנו. עם הדרום בלוד והפרעות ברחבי ישראל על ידי המון ערבי מוסת, מוסת עד כמעט צמאון דם, שפוגע בחיי אדם, ברכוש. ואף שלח יד בקודשי ישראל, הוא דבר בלתי נסלח. ההשלכה הזו של דגל ישראל על ידי פורעים והחלפתו בדגל פלסטיני, היא פגיעה ברוטלית, ברוטלית בחיים המשותפים במדינת ישראל. Clashes between Israeli forces and Palestinian militants also erupted in Ramallah, a Palestinian territory. Hundreds of Palestinian demonstrators fled from a Ramallah checkpoint as police fired tear gas at prote protesters. The fighting between Israel and Hamas was triggered by days of escalating clashes between Palestinians and Israeli police at a holy hilltop compound in East Jerusalem. The site is revealed by both Muslims and Jews. Earlier, Hamas demanded Israel remove police from there and the nearby predominantly Arab district of Sheikh Jarrah, where Palestinian families face eviction by Jewish settlers.
The weeks of tensions boiled over when Israeli riot police clashed with crowds of Palestinians at Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque compound on the last Friday of the Muslim holy month of Ramadan, spurring what currently seems like a never-ending violence. Earlier, Defense Minister Benny Gantz warned, quote, this is just the beginning of Israel's strikes. On Tuesday, Hamas chief Ismail Haniya said that they are ready to fight if Israel does not stop their airstrikes. Earlier, we spoke to Arsen Ostrovsky. He's an international human rights lawyer and expert on West Asia. Here's what he had to say. The situation on the ground now, as you can see behind me, um, is calm. I'm, um, I'm speaking to you from, from Tel Aviv. Uh, last night, these skies were lit up with rockets after several hundred rockets were fired by the Hamas terrorists against Tel Aviv, uh, Israel's most populous city. I can tell you personally, I spent the night in bomb shelters, in and out, with my children, with my uh, baby and with my four-year-old, my wife, my family. This was a harrowing night. In the last uh, day and a half, we've had something like over a thousand rockets fired from Gaza now, over a thousand rockets. That is roughly about a minute and a half every ro uh, rocket every minute and a half over a million and a half Israelis within the firing range of rockets. Now, that is an extraordinary figure. Uh, no country in the world, India, would not suffice, would not tolerate one rocket, nor would America, nor would any country in Europe, nor should Israel. And the blame for this rests entirely with the Palestinian Authority, with the Hamas and the Islamic Jihad, who are, have incited this incessant and relentless wave of violence against Israel over the last weeks, starting with the Hamas and the Palestinian Authority cancelling the elections. This was inevitable. This was entirely predictable and a direct result of the Palestinian Authority internal politics.